All right, disclaimer. This is a personal YouTube channel. Any views or opinions represented in this YouTube channel are personal and solely belong to me as the owner and do not represent those people, organizations, or institutions that I or may not be associated with in professional or personal capacity unless explicitly stated. Any views or opinions are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, or any individual. preparers um, this are actually a group of people and is not being done only by a single person because as what we have discussed last meeting and I think for sure you already scanned through our uh, to the DAO um, DAO 3003 that the AI preparer is actually composed of um, experts experts um, from um, experts from um, it could be local experts only it could be local and international international consultants and it may have five to 34 members and again um, the AA preparer or the group preparer or the group itself does not contain only one person so you can actually have consulting firms which is 80% um, um, of the sample EAS were prepared by them but the two air EIA um, study that I sent you, which focused on buildings, those were actually done by um, EIA students. And then 15 registered firms for EIA preparation as of 2016. And the team of individual EIA preparers, um, as of now in the Philippines, there are 316 registered individual EIA preparers um, as of 2016. So as you can see, um, um, the members of the AA preparer team should be an expert to to the different um, ecosystem state. For example, um, a member should be an expert on the land. So it um, he or she could be a geologist, a mining engineer, terrestrial flora and fauna specialist, or a wildlife specialist. The next is should be an expert with water. So he or she could be an aquatic biota specialist hydrologist, marine biologist, water quality specialist. Um, next member um, should be air, should be expert with air, so should be expert with air quality and noise specialist. Um, next could be a social scientist or uh, he or she should be an expert with people. So he or she could be a social sociologist, socioeconomic um, specialist or community development. Um, um, community development officer or community development. All right. So, and of course, if ERA is required, um, when you say ARA, it means um, environmental risk assessment. So, therefore, you will be needing an uh, you will be needing an ERA specialist or an or an EHIA specialist. Um, EA E HIA specialist specialist means environmental health impact assessment specialist. So let me give you a quick example of a copper mine project. Um, yeah, let me give you a quick example of an EIA study which uh, focuses on a copper gold mine project. This is actually in the Philippines. Um, this is in Kiblawan Davao del Sur. Um, it actually has a lot of area. Kudarat uh, Manglao, Sarangani, and Talapakan, South Cotabato. So the area is um, 9,605 hectares. Uh, capital cost is 250 billion peso. Uh, mine, mine life in years is 20 years. And then production capacity is 160 metric tons per year. Of, of um, I'm not sure if it's gold because that would be a lot. Um, I'm not sure if this is specifically gold or is it the amount of um, amount of soil or mineral that they will be extracting. And then the nature of project is resource descriptive, or which is under the mining and processing. 
So prescribed outcome of the AE report or the EAS, of course, the preliminary, they have the project fact sheet, they have the table of contents, the executive summary, the main AES, which is the project, uh, basic project information, description of projects, uh, AI process, project description, based on information conditions, impact assessment and mitigation, environmental risk assessment, environmental management plan, bibliography, and annexes. So this is their description. I will just scan through it. Um, just to give you an example. And uh, this is their baseline information conditions impact assessment. So they have um they classified or they have a they classified as to um what parts of the ecosystem that will have an impact that will be impacted by their project. So the land, they have the water, the air, and the people. And then this is the land. So they have uh, three impacts, change in land use, uh, encroachment and disturbance of the ECAs and loss of topsoil. And then they have phases of so pre-construction, construction, operational and closure, operation and closure. And of course, they have options for mitigation or enhancement. So as you can see, in every impact, it is being, um, it is being um, considered on all the phase, not only during the operation, but up to the closure. And, and, and then all these impacts are being um, addressed in their mitigation or enhancement um, activity. Um, potential impacts with geology, geomorphology, and geohazards and impacts. So they also classify those and they also have a specific mitigation or enhancement. So the same with tailing waste and rock waste. Um, also with terrestrial vegetation, so they identified eight impacts with that, and of course they also have a corresponding uh, mitigation or enhancement activity to minimize that specific impact. They also have uh, they also classified four impacts to terrestrial wildlife, and of course also with water hydrology and hydrogeology and impacts. Um, they also have an impact with water and sediment quality, which is one of the um, huge impacts when it comes to mining, um, the hydrology, water and sediment actually, water and sediment quality. Uh, they also have, they also qualified 10 impacts with the open pit since the type of mining, the procedural mining that they will be doing is open pit. Um, they also have freshwater ecology in which they also identify five impacts. Um, of course, with climate, climate, identified two impacts with a corresponding mitigation and en enhancement. Of course, the air uh, quality, which is um, on fugitive dust and noise when they do their um, operation. And of course, they also have a um, activities for mitigation or enhancement. Of course, for the people, so they have displacement, they have in-migration because there will be people who will be working in the and the mining company that came from other um, provinces or other municipalities. And of course, uh, cultural or lifestyle change in the IPs, if IPs are being considered or if IPs are living on the area that um, they are doing the project. But basically, since it's in Sultan Kaldarat and mostly on the southern part of the Philippines, uh, most basically there are IPs that are still living um, in these areas. And then they have an environmental management plan. Um, they have social development framework. They have IEC framework. They have emergency responses policy and generic guidance. They also have abandonment, decommission, rehabilitation policies and guidelines. So they actually have, uh, they will be lining up um, in this specific guidelines as to what will be their activities during the abandonment and decommissioning of the project. Um, again, as we... Uh, since there were a lot of questions last meeting about this when it comes to mining, um, as I said earlier, um, when they secure their ECC, all phases of the project are indicated in the ECC. The problem is the mining company or the specific company that is doing the project, they do not do um, what has been indicated in their EIA or what has been indicated in their ECC especially during the abandonment and decommissioning, um, decommissioning of the project. Of course, they have environmental monitoring plan, um, which will be tackled next. 
and they have the institutional plan for EMP implementation. So this is an example of their environmental management and monitoring plan. They have this actually, this is, I don't know. Uh, I'm wondering how come this is not complete. I hope I'm using the correct slide. Um, yeah, but anyhow, I will give you another example with the environmental uh, impact management and monitoring plan. I, actually, um, these plans are indicated to the two examples that I gave you in which I shared to the um, Google Drive. All right. Um, before um, I will proceed to the next topic, which is um, the methodological aspects of the EAA. Um, before I will proceed to that, I would like to ask if you do you have any questions 